morning everyone welcome back again uh, last time we were discussing about ugc net commerce uh, one of the units from ugc net commerce uh, which is income tax and corporate tax planning so we highlighted different section under under this particular unit uh, the, the different portions which are covered and which are important from ugc net commerce point of view now today we'll further uh, further discuss about different concepts which are which are important and this is going to be like uh, section wise in the sense ki first we'll talk about the tax and then different types of tax and and other components then we'll move to international taxation and so on okay so in this particular video uh, here we are discussing about what exactly tax is and uh, why is it important and who does all the all the work behind who should be taxed and what is the rate at which they should be taxed okay so in this particular video this will be our focus now what is tax so tax is nothing but a compulsory or a mandatory payment or you can say payment or a fee which is levied by the government on an individual or an organization as well so from this part this is very simple and to the point definition about what exactly tax is wherein first important point is compulsory and mandatory payment okay which means everyone who is liable who is supposed to pay will have to pay it's a compulsion to make the tax payment okay now second point which is payment or a fee so basically it is it is it is something that uh, that an individual or an organization will have to make or do a payment as a tax okay so tax is nothing but a payment okay and it is levied by the government okay this is the third component that is it's uh, no one else other than the government which levies tax on different individuals and organization okay so tax is being levied by the government and now the fourth point here is on individual or an organization okay uh, it's not that tax is uh, being paid and it's being levied only on individuals or only on organization over here tax is levied and it's payable by both individual or an organizers as well organizations as well depending upon their respective liability and depending at the respective rates which is being prescribed in the budget every year okay so uh, these are the four uh, components you can take out from the this particular definition of what is tax okay and you can have a mcq related to this particular this simple one or two liner definition of tax can help you in solving uh very very easy mcq questions for your ugc net commerce okay now second point taxation taxation is the means by which a government or a taxing authority imposes or levies a tax on its citizens and business entities okay so uh taxation taxation is the mechanism okay tax and then you have taxation taxation is the mechanism by which the government and the taxing authorities levies tax on its citizens and business entities okay so uh, now coming to the second half which is from income tax to goods and service tax taxation applies to all level okay like in the very first point i mentioned it's not only paid by individuals or not only paid by organizations it is paid by both in their respective capacity at their respective rates okay like in case of individual it is in the forms of income tax whereas for organizations they are they are paying gsts corporate tax and others okay 
Now government decides the rates and the items on which the uh, tax will be charged like income tax and GST. Okay. Like mentioned earlier as well, the deciding or the authority, the, the taxing authority, it's everything is being decided by the government and the tax slaves, tax labs, the rates and everything that is mentioned in your respective budget, which takes place every year. Okay. So that is why uh, budget, when, whenever the budget comes up, there is a, there is a lot of, a uh, lot of interest not only from the corporates but individuals as well and now even even students uh, are taking so much interest in having a look at how a how a budget is presented uh, what all components are important how how will certain certain points or certain elements will affect affect their life as well because uh, for simple example like in in case uh, there, there is a, there is a tax on on AC components. Okay, then the, then the, then the values or the, or the, the cost of the ACs would go up. So it's gonna affect uh, adversely to a common man. Okay, so each and every uh, part of a budget is very important. It's being listened very patiently, patiently by each and everyone. Analysts are looking at it as to what, what they can take out of it, whether was a particular budget important or not, or how fruitful was it or not, or whether it will impact a common man or not, okay? So then they decide different uh, tax, uh, tax rates, slaps and everything, and what all items will be charged under different tax, okay? Now the government plays a significant role in determining the tax in India. To streamline the process of taxation and ensure transparency in the country, the state and the central government have undertaken various policy reforms over the last few years. Okay, so the entire structure, the entire streamline and everything related to tax is being decided by the government and the purpose, the purpose behind, the purpose behind, behind collecting tax is Usually you all must have uh, heard it's uh, related to the infrastructure, providing you better quality of life and other stuff. So that is the main rationale behind which a government cites uh, for either increasing a, a tax rate or adding different or adding more goods or services under a tax slab. Okay, so that is the main, uh, main rationale behind collecting tax. Okay. And uh, like, as mentioned, there have been very uh, recent reforms related to taxation. And one of the best reforms uh, in the recent year have been the introduction of GST, goods and service tax, which eliminated N number of indirect taxes and bought one tax, which is GST, goods and service tax, okay? Wherein you have central, Central GST, state GST, and others. And this has actually eased the tax regime on the sale and deliverance of goods and services in the country. Okay, so it has uh, eliminated the complications which were associated related to different indirect taxes and brought everything under one umbrella of GST, goods and service tax. Okay, so what are the type of taxes okay so uh, there one there is direct tax and the other one is indirect tax okay direct tax the best uh, the best line to define a direct tax is ki it can't be passed on to any other individual or uh, you can't assign anyone else to pay on your behalf okay the best, uh, so let's go by the definition first. It is defined as a tax imposed directly, directly on a taxpayer and is required to be paid to the government. So as the, as the word suggests direct, so it's directly imposed on the taxpayer and it is supposed to be paid by them itself. Now, the second half, also an individual cannot pass or assign the, uh, assign another person to pay the tax on his or her behalf. Okay, so why I'm highlighting on this particular line that it cannot be passed or assigned or anyone, anyone else can't be assigned 
to pay the taxes on their behalf is because this is the distinguishing point between a direct tax or an indirect tax. Okay, that you can't uh, assign this liability, you can't pass on, you can't deliberate, uh, delegate your liability to anyone else. Okay, so here are the two examples uh, from an individual point of view and from a corporate point of view. Income tax is the best ideal example of direct tax from an individual point of view which is a tax applicable on the income earned by an individual or a tax payer. Okay. Now the second is your corporate tax. This is the tax payable on the profit earned by the companies from their business. Okay. We'll, we'll further go in detail in our, in our respective lectures on each and every topic like direct tax and indirect tax as well. Okay. Now coming to indirect tax. So it is defined as a tax levied not on the income, profit, or the revenue, but on goods and services rendered by the taxpayer. Okay. And the best and the perfect example of this is goods and service tax. Okay. And now, like I mentioned, the distinguishing point or the factor between direct and indirect tax is unlike direct tax, indirect taxes can be shifted from one individual to another, whereas indirect, you can't do the same. Okay. Now, uh, for the few more details, like as mentioned earlier as well, there were n number of taxes uh, which were prevailing earlier. So the list of uh, indirect taxes imposed on tax paper included service tax, sales tax, value added tax, custom excise and other uh, taxes. And now from 1st July from 2017, so this was the date from wherein the GST was implemented. So that actually changed the entire tax scenario in the country or the taxation mechanism in the entire country related to indirect tax in particular. Okay. And it replaced all forms of indirect taxes imposed on goods and services by either state or central government. Okay. Thank you.